Grab your seatbelt. Today, we are going to take a look at the unusual history of corn. It might be hard to believe, but the corn that we enjoy today looked quite different long ago. The corn that we enjoy is popcorn, tamales, cereal, and as a sweetener look very different. In fact, it looked more like a grain than as corn. This is weird. This is impossible. Huh? What? Like many of the foods that we eat today, corn once grew in the wild as a tall grass. Sometime a few thousand years ago, it was domesticated. This means that humans collected some of the wild seeds and planted them in gardens. The earliest corn was actually a plant called teosinte. This is impossible. How could this possibly be the same thing as corn? Well, sometimes plants have slight changes called mutations. One day, kernels on a teosinte plant grew larger and more plump. The seeds of this mutated plant were then collected, planted, and pollinated. Over time, the teosinte plant was bred to become the type of corn that we eat today. Some corn is used as animal feed. Some is used as sweet corn. There are also popping corn varieties. Many foods that we eat today look much different than their ancestor plants. Tomatoes once grew wild and were once smaller. Bananas had large seeds and were mostly like modern-day varieties of plantain. The bananas that we eat today were bred to be eaten directly after picking and do not require cooking. The seeds are much smaller. Carrots, cabbage, and broccoli owe their common forms to domestication as well. Subscribe to learn more unusual and interesting facts. New history and science videos are released regularly. Visit the Literacy and Math Ideas blog for additional resources.